Hello everybody, it is I, the Luigi Big Mac, and welcome back to, to the Pizza Tower Noise Update. Last time we completed the rest of World 2 and did half of World 3. Uh, for starters, we're going to go into Deep Dish 9. With our, with our little olive outfit here. Uh, first thing first, uh, per usual with this noise update, all, all of the noises transformations are different. So, or at least have some sort of difference. So, considering this level introduces the rocket, considering this level introduces the rocket, uh, the rocket works differently. Instead, you gotta, instead you gotta simply, and instead you gotta simply uh, hit the wall in order to change direction. However, uh, running to a wall does not destroy your rocket. So. Kind of works out that way, and then the olive, and then the olive bubble uh, outfit I'm wearing. You have to get it by interacting with every single one this level has to offer, including including secrets. Now, while you're in in, in the uh, olive bubble, if you hold up, you actually go faster. You actually move up faster. So definitely do keep that in mind. It might it might be useful for for a speed run, it might not. Nice try, cucumber. You can't you can't beat me this time with your little weird weird zappy zaps. And uh gotta love the pizza alien there. He, he was one of my favorites. This section has become easier considering considering you don't have to worry about uh Yep, also that's different. The only time you actually see the noise that actually legitimately freaks out. Which probably which probably somewhat proves that he's somewhat scared of dying. Man, I don't know why I don't know why I'm all itchy today. Uh, anyways, I forgot what I was talking about. Damn shame, really. Ah, damn. You know, yeah, I just remembered. Like, obviously I'm doing the regular way of getting that secret. But, but I could have used the rocket to just slowly move myself up there. And instantly get the secret. Yeah, all the rocket sections in this game are now just kind of a joke. Because the whole, because the whole challenge of, um, in the first place is, is needing is needing to, you know, uh, avoid walking into a wall. Otherwise, you, otherwise you would, uh, have to start everything over again, but with the noise, now you just press A to, uh, to exit. Alrighty, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, go that way, there we go. Chivo right there. Yeah. Fun fact, you can still achieve you can, you can still achieve that achievement by doing the uh the noise uh, flying trick that you saw me do in uh, earlier episodes. Oh. Yep. You not want that to happen. There we go. Get that last secret while we can. Yeah. 
Yeah, doing it, doing the uh, noise pressure is probably the best way of doing that. Also, you're not meant to, to have to rock it for that portion. second lap done in time. Alright, we just have to bump the wall here. Okay, while well, we already while well, we already God damn it, okay we're wait okay we're wasting a lot of precious time. Okay, we, okay, we, okay, woo, woo, woo wee. How did it fit too close there? Alrighty. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go change my outfit real quick. Let's go with red. Why? Because why the fuck not? Because... I don't know, for, but for some reason, whenever I think of golf, I think of red for some reason. Oh god, that that is quite the uh, image there. So... So, you might think, oh, golf might be the same. Uh, you'll see in just a moment. Okay, so I got so I got uh in, in five that time. I got got into five that time. Yeah, you might think everything looks uh, normal so far, but wait until we. You'll see in just a moment. I don't want to spoil the surprise for you guys. Okay, so I might you might think I might not get the Primo Bird. Nope, the noise change. So whenever we play as a noise, you'll all you're always guaranteed to get Primo the Primo Bird as the noise will just change. The noise is just gonna change it. The noise will, is always going to change it so, to where you have to uh, where you always get the Primo Bird, regardless of your score. How dare you hit, hit him back. Hold on a second there, partner. Get back here. 
the look the lucky part about hitting that guy is that you, you reset your combo for uh for P rank. And honestly, Dolph is easier to P rank in the, as noise compared to Peppino, because you're always guaranteed free mobber. Which means you're basically getting you're basically uh, guaranteed uh, free points. Oh no, though, know, you're not ruining my P rank again. Also, like that's what the noise looks like when you uh, when you hit the uh, the, uh, the button there. And uh, before I forget and waste time trying to figure out what that secret is, time for me to do this one. That one cycle, excellent. That works. Okay, that works. We somehow, we're somehow still keeping our P rank, which is fine by me. Kill themselves. Excellent. Get me out of here. Consequences in uh, in fucking up so much. I might as well do that. Nope. Okay. No P rank. Oh well. It was a good run though. All right, and we're gonna take our time with this one. Uh... No, no, no. Actually, okay, first, I'm gonna put that guy up there. Grab Jerome before I forget. Uh, because I don't remember if I did this in my original Let's Play. It wouldn't... God, God damn it! Okay. Here's a little... Oops. 
fucker. I didn't do it correctly because I bonked. Ah, well. But there's a speedrunning trick you can do where you can actually bypass this whole section here. If you just, if you just place the enemy there and just immediately just and just immediately run to the end. But unfortunately, I bonked the wall like a fucking dumbass. So I have to do this whole section here. Assholes. There we go. God. Die. Yeah, I remember in I remember playing the uh, the golf demo of uh, a beat tower before, and. Uh, this grease ball guy used to die in the, uh, outlet. Yep, and because you're always getting free number, you're always guaranteed to, uh, get that achievement. when you do a second lap, you are still forced, forced to do this whole section. Okay, save some time right there. Now, luckily, now, uh, in case you haven't seen the original Let's Play, first off, why are you watching the noise uh, stuff? If you haven't seen the original game, or, like the base campaign, but in case, but in case you guys don't remember, uh, you don't have to do the vault stuff again, which is excellent. Because imagine having to do that during a P rank. Yep, and I think it's faster to just run over there instead of uh, uh, running to the other side to you know, do all that. We have plenty of time. We have plenty of time to, to get out of here. Whew. Just like that. Easy peasy. And another S rank to add to the ring. Everybody then. Now, now we just have to use the balls for this area. Now, now, now the balls. That means we have to wear the next uh, the boss colors because I have that unlocked, obviously. And this is, and I'll say this much: this is the easiest one to unlock. And you might see in a in a second, past it like a freaking moron. There we go. So, who are we fighting anyway? Well, let's find out by paying uh, our lovely girlfriend's wife. I don't know. I don't know if the noise is actually married. 
Oh. Uh. This looks like something. The doys? Who is this cheap imitation? Even the noise is confused. Okay, so this is the Doys. He's the replacement for the Noises boss fight. Uh, for the Noises campaign. Instead of bombs, he throws rocks. Now, now, I should have researched a lot of this before recording this episode. However, one thing you should know, the Doys is basically a fan character. Uh... He was basically a fan character, uh, created, uh, I, I forget the reason why he was actually created, but, uh, uh, but the same creator of the Doys also created a character, a fan character called Petito, and as you may guess, it's just a recolored Pepino. I do not know he likes repa replacing, uh, ends with these, but, uh, Yeah, and the other and the other difference here is that rocks would just randomly fall because why not? But other other than that, uh, but other than that, uh, yeah, the the fight is pretty much the same as as the noise fight. Oops. See, the game kind of got in my head there because there was a rock there. Other than that, his attack patterns are still the same. Ah, uh, you you ass. Oh, that rock spawned there! I had no way of dodging that. Alrighty. Oh, 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 there, oh, there goes there goes Benito. Alright, so there's a bit I have to explain here. Why did Petito speed by and steal the toys? Well, in a little Doom mod called uh, Bring Your Own Character, this is actually something uh, McPig actually worked on with uh, with some other people. Uh, someone made a Doys character, and he was basically just a joke character. Like, you know, he sucks and everything. Uh, the Doys' replacement for the BFG is uh, he just summoned Petito. He runs around, kills enemy, and then starts chasing after you. And upon killing, and then upon catching you, he kills the Doys. However, I'm not satisfied with the A rank. I felt like I could have done better. So, you know what? I want a rematch. Look out, look out, Doys, old buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something to you. Oh, right, I forgot. He's dead! <laughs> Oh man, it never gets, it never gets old. So, the, so not only you get the outfit I'm currently wearing and you get the D-Noise achievement, you automatically get a P-Rank. Well then. Alrighty then. You want know in memory of the door shit hey, what passed him? In the memory of the doys. Let's play as the doys for a TT pit. Now Now you might be wondering how do you unlock this? Uh unlock this outfit. Uh I won't tell you until we get closer to the end. Because I don't want to spoil the surprise. Uh, first, let's just do, uh, Pig City. Alrighty. Now, remember how I was able to kill Pepperman while in the uh, overworld? And the, and the horse is in, uh... Oops, shit. Boys really doesn't want to cooperate here. Remember this guy. You can kill him. 
as the noise. Yeah, now instead of, now instead of hanging on to the bubbles, you just start... You press A to float, and then you press the attack button to, uh... Oh yeah, I forgot he, he threatens the fucking pigs. Ah, you bastard. Get out of here. Oh yeah, and, the, and, and these guys. Well, you just gotta start swinging them around. Hold up. Gotta do that. There's a lot of thumbnail material for this episode, but I don't know which one to go with. Because, like, on one hand, I want to do the noise threatening the, the cab driver, but at the same sense, the pay rank is also pretty good. Yep. Like, imagine, like... Like, like, okay, like, imagine, like, if this was actually the toys. Like, toys, toys goes around. Uh, or, like, I guess, like, phrases that as, like, the toys is a menace or something like that. Ah! Unfortunately, the toys is like Luigi, where he kind of is a bit more floatier and driftier a lot. Now, some of you guys might be... Now, some of you guys might be a tad bit curious on how... Because, if you guys recall in... In, uh, Known Forest, it's up playing as Gustavo, you play as another noise. Now, one thing you might be curious about, uh... How would, how would the, uh, rails work? Because in Gustavo's section, you... He, he climbs... He, he monkey... He climbs the rails like, it, like it's their monkey bars. Whereas the noise would normally just grind them. Yeah, luckily, uh, the devs thought about that, and you'll see it in just a moment. Bacon room. I remember the bacon room. Uh, I don't remember if I mentioned this in the original Let's Play, but if you just kind of chill in this room uh, for a certain for a certain amount of time, uh, yeah, that big guy he would just he would just get close enough, and then he would just give you a thumbs up before leaving. And we still get arrested. <laughs> Look at the boys. Yep. Now, as you may see, as you saw there, he showed his hands and they were differently colored. And, and the noise he also drives the, uh, uh, the cab instead of another noise. Yep, as you may see here, they thought they thought about uh, Gustavo's section being unplayable if they just, you know, copy and pasted the noise. So they made a special version of the noise for this section specifically of the level. So, so it's completable. Yeah, 
Yeah, unfortunately, you still have to use the, uh... Oh, no, I missed the guy. Oh, well. Let's just drive on back. Oh, yeah, I just realized the noisy soul has a cigarette in his mouth. Oh, imagine, imagine getting damaged by something that got spooked by you. Now, now coming up here. Uh, not this room, but there's another thing you'll notice coming up. Also, also the, uh, the rat balloons are just kind of useless. Because you don't really need to use them. Oh, that's fine, I need a boost over here. Anyway, who needs red balloons when you, when you can just fly? Because apparently they gave us the apparently they gave us the reason to fly. Uh oh. There we go. So, in this section right here... Yeah, uh, Brick is actually right there. Because there's an achievement that you can only complete with Gustavo, and you wouldn't be able to complete it as the noise. So, so Brick is kind of there to allow you to get it. Now, obviously I didn't get it. But at least, but it's nice that the, but it's nice that the devs actually, you know, thought thought about stuff like that to make the game like, you know, so completable. Anyway, back to the noise. Give me that right, uh, right ball with the ketchup for some reason. Who has ketchup on the right, the right ball? Also, the noise is still uh, not quite happy that piece of face is right there. Fun fact, like, I, I find it funny that, that Pizza Face being here is also, being, Pizza Face being in Taxi is also pretty funny, considering that if if you run out of time and during Pizza Time, uh, he, like, when he exits the Taxi, he also starts spawning out the same spot where the Taxi uh, drops you off, so it's really funny, because, because it's, 
good. It's this implies that Beat the Face is getting out of the taxi just just to continue to chase you down. Like one would say, it would be a bit more efficient to. One would say it would be a lot more efficient to uh, just use to use the taxi to chase down someone. Like I mean, like if I was chasing someone, I mean that's. What, Oh, fuck, I accidentally killed that, it's naughty. Uh, whoops! I guess no, I guess no, it's not even brewed for, uh... For this one. Uh, I, want, I want to change my outfit first. Uh... You know, let's, let's go back to regular old toys. I don't think you really need any hints today. Uh, let's see, I think we have one more... Time for one more level. Now, Peppy Bot Factory. Now, you might notice we have a bucket of water with us. Why do we have a bucket of water with us? Well, you'll probably see in just a moment. Oh, I got hit with the cannibal bat. Yep, and that's what the water fucking <laughs> water is for. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the uh, there's still Peppy Bot Seven Noise Bots, so unfortunately, you won't be seeing those guys. But you know what? It's fine. Oops, hold up, I. I always hit that before remembering. There's a secret here. Ah, oh, damn. There's a GMA for not getting hit by a, a single one of these. Parry seems like a good uh, idea, but then there's like two that just come straight at you. And you just don't have enough time to be able to, you know, parry all that. I always miss that as uh, the big topping there. Not today. Yeah, these things uh, right here. Oh, all oh, my speed got killed because. There we go. There we go. Yeah, these hand things are pretty useless. For the most part. There we go. I'll dare you with me! Now, yeah, so rather than having to flap, the noise can just fly with the jetpack. So, but yeah, other, other than that, it works the same way as uh, box up, you know. Yeah, unfortunately you cannot infinitely attack, but you know, there's a limit to everything, you know. One thing I also know is you don't gain height when you uh when you hit things. In fact, I feel like you uh I feel like you just lose. Yeah, I feel like you just uh lose uh 
Nope, nope, no thank you. Uh, uh, okay, that, that could have ended badly. You dare, you dare defy me, game? Give her that rat. Actually, can I still kill them, even though they're... Well, I guess I... I'm... You know what? That works. That works. Yeah, this little secret's kind of pointless. Yeah. Yeah, no, this secret is just really pointless. I don't care that I heard the noise ten times. He's a, he's a Gremlin who needs to be stopped somehow. second lap here. There we go. Okay, we have a minute and a half to get out of here. Thank you, Noisy, for getting rid of those assholes. Even, even though they don't really do anything. Oh, what's this shit again? There we go, God. Cool. We made we made it plenty of time. No S rank, but that's fine. We don't need it anyway. Alrighty, folks. I think that's the end of today's episode. If you guys enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing as I, I would really appreciate it. Uh, uh, maybe hit the like button and uh, maybe leave a comment to, get, uh, to add more people through the algorithm because YouTube sucks. Uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to be doing the second half of War 4 with Oh Shit and uh, Refrigerator, Refrigerator, Refrigerator. I think that's... I think that's what the full name of the level is. Uh, and then I'll be deal with uh, fake, uh, deal with Pepino, or fake Pepino rather. And yes, I'm spoiling it because this game's been out for a year now. So, so if you, so if you, so if you didn't want to get spoiled, first thing first, while you're watching a new game plus, plus play, and secondly, uh. uh 
shows that you should have just played a game earlier. Like I said, it's been out for a year. But, uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.